Rats are awesome pets, but there's no denying that they can be a bit mysterious sometimes. It can be hard to decipher what their behavior, body language, and sounds really mean. In this video, we're taking a look at some of the more common rat behaviors and explain the meaning behind them. Let's get into it. One of the strangest rat behaviors that you'll see is the boggling of the eyes. Eye boggling is when the eyeballs vibrate rapidly, bulging seemingly in and out of the eye socket. It's honestly quite alarming when you see it for the first time, but it's really nothing to worry about. In fact, it means that your rat is relaxed and content and often happens when they're being stroked or fed their favorite food. It's a behavior that every rat owner will see at some point and is actually quite cute once you know the meaning behind it. Related to eye boggling is bruxing. Bruxing is the grinding of the teeth against each other and is something that rats do when they're happy and relaxed. It is intense bruxing that results in the eye boggling mentioned earlier. While the sound that bruxing makes might be a bit alarming, it's nothing to worry about. Rats have teeth that never stop growing, so this is one of the ways to grind them down and help keep their length in check. Rats are sociable and do best living in same-sex pairs or groups, but this doesn't rule out play fighting. Rats seem to enjoy the occasional tussle with a cage mate, chasing, pinning, and some vocalizations are normal. If you notice raised fur or hissing occurs, pay attention, this could get serious. If it seems like one rat is constantly being bullied, you might need to intervene. If blood is ever drawn, separate the rats. You'll likely need to keep the rats in separate habitats from then on if that happens. Rats are generally quiet pets, at least to human ears. They usually vocalize in a range above normal human hearing. But even though we miss out on most of a rat's talk, we do hear some of their vocalizations. Gentle chirps or clucks, grinding, squeaks, and hissing are a few of the vocalizations you will hear. The context usually gives you a hint about whether your rat is happy, content, upset, scared, or in pain. Often, higher-pitched, faster-tempo noises indicate a rat is disturbed. Rats are members of the rodent family, and rodents are known for chewing. And they'll chew anything, not just food. The frequent chewing helps wear down rats constantly growing incisors. It's a need they must satisfy, so be prepared by offering rat-safe chew toys in the habitat, rat-proofing any rooms you let them access, and supervising them whenever they're enjoying free roam time outside the cage. Furniture, clothing, drapes, power cords, and more could feel the gnaw of your rat's teeth if you don't keep these items out of reach. Another trait of rodents is burrowing into bedding. Pet rats enjoy digging. It's another instinctive need they must satisfy. Help your rat buddy out by providing rat-safe bedding for burrowing and a rat-safe dig box filled with clean dirt, play sand, biodegradable packing peanuts, or other rat-safe material. Another common behavior of pet rats is licking. The reasons your rat licks you or other rats vary. It could be a sign of affection. It could be your rat is in grooming mode. It could be that your rat tastes something delicious. It could be just another way to explore the world. Whatever the reason, it's perfectly normal, unless it becomes obsessive. Rats do not bite commonly, but they are capable of doing so and their teeth can do quite a bit of damage. When startled or in pain, a rat might bite. Pet rats are among the most easygoing of rodents, though, so your chance of being bitten is minimal as long as you don't startle them or pick them up when you suspect they're in pain. Like many other animals, rats engage in scent marking. For some animals, scent marking just means rubbing a gland against what they wish to mark. For pet rats, scent marking can vary from rubbing their face against something to peeing on it. Males seem especially prone to scent marking. So, there you have it, the most common rat behaviors and the reason behind why your rat might engage in this behavior. If there's a certain type of behavior that you feel I've missed and that you would like to have explained feel free to leave a comment. I hope you enjoyed the video and that it was informative. If you want more content about rats and other pets, subscribing to the channel would be highly appreciated. A like on the video would also go a long way in helping the channel grow. Thanks for watching and have a great day.